just uh, go back live again. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Hopefully, we'll get where we need to be. Uh, go away. And it says we are live, so hello, people. Yes, I see Rennie and Sybil and Gigi's Art Attic is here. So, yeah, sorry, guys. We had a little flugally this morning. We are live. This is our live Thursday broadcast, 1030 Central Time. If you're catching us later, uh, we are Art, Art Joy sharing with Shel C and Peg Robinson. And uh, hello, Cindy Bagley. Hello, Shel. Hi. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it on my other device now because. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was squirrely. I think that's it. OK, is that it? Hey, Marie. Yeah, this must be it. OK, I think I think I've got it. Yay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know what happened. Anyway, <laughs> hello, everyone. It was I'm one of those mornings. What can we say? Rennie, Sybil, Gigi's Art Addict, um, Marie, Connie, Peggy, Cindy. Did I say Cindy? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. <laughs> We're all together. Hello, now. and welcome all to right. everyone. <laughs> We're over our der, der Flugeldy, and hopefully, we can uh, continue forward here with our project for today, which is. If you haven't been following along, we're doing artist trading card a day, which is the month of June. Yep. And Shell has prepared for us the challenge for today. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna do pick a stick, which is one of our normal challenges in the art joy of sharing art community. And it's the one where we randomly pick prompts, one word prompts. Um, if you're new to this. Uh, we, we generally pick 10 one word prompts and then we randomly assign them and there will be steps. Um, this one is, is for the artist training card, but these are all the sticks that I picked. So, so when I pick the 10 sticks, it's for an art journal page, although you could use it on anything you want to. And then I took those same prompts and I picked for an ATC challenge because this month we're doing ATCs. So the, pick, the page challenge is up. The ATC challenge is up. And the way that it works, um, the only rule for Pick a Stick Challenge is that you have to do the steps in order. So for the page, you have six. For the ATC, you only have three because it's tiny. So you have to do these and you have to do them in order. If you don't like one of them or you don't, you don't think you can do one of them, there is a wild card option that you can replace it. So if you don't want to do rub, you could do canvas instead. Or you could do all four if you want. There's also a color. So the color is copper. You can put something on before. You can put something on in the middle. You can put something on at the end, just so long as you do all these three steps in order. So that's how the Pick a Stick Challenge works. I've, I figured out in the art community over on Facebook that there's a lot of people who aren't familiar with it, even though we've been, this is our, what, sixth year? Yep. We've been doing it. I think <laughs> so. Yeah, six um, years. That's right. Can you believe it? Yeah. They're like, oh, what? what's a pick a stick? What's a pick a stick? And I'm like, wow, where have you guys been? <laughs> so if you guys missed those six years, go check out the hashtag and find our videos because we've got lots of videos on pick a stick. Yeah, I have, I have a playlist on pick a stick that has yeah. 86 videos on it. Yeah. I wanted to show you guys this. If you guys know who Seth Apter is, he's uh, an artist from New York that teaches a lot of classes around the country and internationally. And he he has been stuck in his apartment for, I don't know, three months now or something. Yeah. Um, poor guy in New York. That's, that's a hard place to be. But he decided to do some online classes. Um, I was planning on taking a class from him in Phoenix in a couple months from now. And so is Peg um, at the Art Unraveled. But they canceled it. Yeah, so I was excited to be able to take a class and he's doing them on Facebook live, which, hey, Seth, that's not the best platform, but we won't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he so has I took his other class. platforms for classes. So, I mean, you can find his other classes, other places. Yeah. And he he has done three of these uh, mini book madness classes. I took the one on the second, which Peg took it as well. And uh, this is the book that I completed. So I wanted to show you guys. He's going to have that available to you 
not as a live, but just as a playback. He's apparently going to do that so that more people can take the class. So what it was is this little tiny book, and he taught the binding, and then he taught his uh, way of making the pages and attaching the pages. And it it was a good little class. It was fun. It was um, two hours long, and I was able to finish most of my book in the two hours. Then I took a couple, um, probably another hour or half an hour after that to finish all the pages. But um, it was fun. So I recommend it. It was fun. Um, I did not follow, <laughs> you know me, I did not follow his uh, instruction. Um, yeah, but I mean, I we're going to laugh it. because um, I wanted to do a six by six book. Yeah. So, you know, I, I assembled the book. Um, I did follow his instruction and I did the first page in the book using his instruction. And then I went off on my own <laughs> and started creating these six by six pages. And my book is not anywhere near done because it's a six by six. So I have, you know, different things where I'd cut, cut the page and mounted other things on here. I put in a uh, inventory tag. I did a cutout page here with um, his, this is a stencil girl stencil uh, from Seth after. And I just, you know, I've got these pages to finish. I did these uh, flip tag page things. So, you know, I, I still have still have a ways to go in my journal. But, you know, I've got one started. Hello, and that, also, hi, that, um, because we have people joining us. Um, wow. We've got Connie and Peggy and Frana and Sybil and Andrea, Barb Clark. Hello, Josie. Uh, it's so good to see all you guys. Um, yeah. So, you know, we, we each do classes in our own ways. Um, and I just didn't want a two and a half by two and a half inch book. So I just kind of did my own thing. So I wanted to show you guys, um, stencil girl has a ton. Now all different designers have made these ATC stencils where you get nine designs that are the size of an ATC. Um, see that here's an ATC and here's the stencil that fits right around it all the way to the edge. And I plan to um, make mine into something like this. I'm gonna cut them apart. This is another stencil that I cut apart and put it on a little ring with all my ATCs. I'm, I'm not gonna make one big ring of them. I'm gonna make each stencil into, an a, into a ring like this. Um, so that I can still tell what stencil it was from. But I thought I would want to use one today. <clears throat> and I think, I think that's a good idea. I have cut a number of stencils up like that. Um, I have not cut all of my ATC ones because I still want to use some of them in the format in which they came originally. But, um, and I was doing some of that this morning because I was playing before we got started, I was playing, you know me, <laughs> I can't just sit here. And um, Shell was saying, well, you know, one of the things was circles and the colors were like copper and blue. And so I had this uh, Yupo out and I had taken my circle circle stencil and put it onto this Yupo and had created uh, this piece with alcohol ink. So, you know, this is a fun thing to do. And then, you know, I've got, I've got the stencil that's loaded up with all that alcohol ink. I should get another piece of Yupo and put that down on there. So this is that, um, oops, I got this upside down. I don't know. It may, may get dried out before I can get to it. Um, this is that Nara synthetic art paper. I get this on Amazon. It's very much like Yupo. Um, Yupo is a brand, of course. But uh, let's see. This has the blue and the and the copper. So I'm going to spritz that with some alcohol. Going to spritz that to re 
re-energize it and put that down. You can see that some of the circles are starting to transfer already. So that'll be another paper that I can use that's kind of cool. And then the thing I wanted to do with this piece was um, one of those ATC stencils that um, I love so much. And I'm just going to create, because um, one of the things that you guys have seen with my ATCs, get, uh, let me pull out some of these backgrounds. You ordered some from Stencil Girl? Okay, I never bought any of those stencils. Got them in my cart, yeah. I like to put things in my cart. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little crazy. You're still saying hi to people. Okay, so let me let me show you what I did. These are some of those backgrounds that I created. And right here, this one is one of those alcohol ink backgrounds, which I think is, yeah, I think it's this. Um, this part of this particular stencil here. So, and here it is uh, in a lightened version. So they make really cool backgrounds. All of these make really cool alcohol ink backgrounds for your ATCs. That's what I wanted, okay. So I'm going to put, um, because I want this to dry down, I'm going to do this before I start on any watercolor. Uh, that's cool, too. Huh. And one of the things I discovered this morning on that circle one, I was using the alcohol pearl ink. If you guys own any of these, just know that the mica is going to plug up that top. Um, I mean, it, the ink is still good, but... Uh, these do plug. So, yeah. Just my no. surprise, surprise, right? <laughs> Not surprised at all. Yeah. I'm going to use a little uh, butterscotch, one of my favorite colors, in alcohol ink. And I'm just going to put that down all over here. And I want some red tones and orange tones. So what I wanted to do, I remember I was just telling you that um, you can make something on the card or the page or whatever before you start the actual prompts. So I wanted to make kind of like a cityscape background on this one. But the stencil itself, what did I do with that stencil? I just had it a second ago. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's... Oh. If I stenciled it, the background, this this hole right here would have been full of, with paint. So I wanted the opposite. I wanted kind of a grungy uh, cityscape in the background. So um, I put the, I brayered the paint onto the stencil and used it more like a mark making tool. And the first one that I did, I didn't move it. It didn't move the stencil after I put the paint on it. So I ended up getting a gray sky. I didn't want that. And I also wanted it, the buildings to be down lower on the card. So I did it again. And then I moved I moved the stencil over so that I wouldn't get anything into the sky. So, yeah, that's my first, my first little adventure there. <laughs> well, my first little adventure is I opened a thing of alcohol ink and the whole top came off. And so I dumped blue ink everywhere. Oh, my gosh. I hate it when that happens. So, um, yeah, I've got a mess. This will still be cool. It's just, it's making a mess. And I'm picking up, I'm picking up that ink, guys. I'm not letting it go to waste. Well, right? no. no. So I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing some paper and picking up that stuff because that's cool. That's cool. I think this one's too big. I was going to use this circle, but I think it's too big. Too big. I think um, that right there in particular is going to be really cool. 
I've got some white spaces up there, so I still want to add a little bit more. I've got some more of this pearl stuff. I should use it instead of having it up in the bottle, right? I agree. Yes. I think using it is a better choice. Well, now, now I need to do some masking. <laughs> Was not expecting to have to mask. Okay. All right. My plans just keep changing. All right. I gotta find that stencil again. Bring it back. Do a little piece of paper here. Well, I threw the stencil somewhere and now I can't find it again. Ah, there it is. You know how that goes. Yeah, I do know how that goes. So anyway, you guys can see all that color on there. I'm gonna let that set and dry before to settle out. All right. This one did not do as much as I had hoped. So guess what? I'm gonna keep on going with this. So I'm going to get the pearlized stuff that I want to use. There's my stupid dish. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. This one is called Mineral. Which I think is pretty cool. It's kind of a coppery color. And this one is called this one is called Enchanted. Are those those um, new? Well, they're not new now, but they're the ones that have the pretty mica in them that they that yeah they have they have the pearl pearl stuff in them. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch that. Get it moving. And then I'm going to add some other color to this. I'm going to add another pearl, which is called Deception. Deception. That's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you deceiving today, Peg? I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe the color is deceiving. Oh, maybe. Or maybe you're a Russian spy. Ooh, that sounds I didn't fun. even know. Okay, so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab some more paper and pick up a little bit of this stuff that's sitting on the surface. This is one of those um, journal pages that just pops out of the book. You know, I was going to suggest um, that we do alcohol ink this month as one of our themes. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I love alcohol ink. I can do alcohol ink all day long every day. So, yeah, no problem. I'm just thinking we hadn't done it in a while. Yeah. Why are you not turning what it will do on this? Anything. Not much. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside to dry. Ah, I forgot to turn my secondary camera on, and now it's being a jerk, and it won't turn on. And then the other thing I was playing with this morning is I had this plastic that's kind of like a mylar. Uh, it's not. It's not a clear mylar. It was kind of a kind of a smoky surface and I had taken some um, I'd taken some stays on ink. let me get this stuff out of the way I had this uh, teal blue stays on that I put on the surface of the plastic and then I put my stencil down this is a Tracy Batista stencil and then I added the alcohol ink to that because I thought that would be kind of fun. Sounds fun. So there's, 
There's that one. Okay, and I've still got my really, really messy stencil here. So let's just have to look at this and see which side. Let's just put that down on a piece of paper and see if we can get a transfer on this tissue. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. It's, it's kind of faint, but that would layer up on something really pretty. Some copper paint. It's time for the copper. Copper. All right, I'm gonna throw that in the water. Got some copper acrylic. But here's that. Here's that mylar. And there's some really interesting places on here. I mean, I can see cutting out this flower or this. See this uh, circle texture here? That would be cool on top of an ATC, right? Has circles? Yeah, circles. Circles. Are circles. Guess what? I got circles. Well, I'm stenciling a circle on right now with my copper paint. And. This circle has hands in it. This is the, um, let's see, this is L526 by Jessica Sporn. And it's like, it's like an empowering women stencil. I love Jessica Sporn. Yeah, she's cool. She, she, <laughs> just a cool person. Yes, she is. A caring person. Yes. So then I mask out my little cityscape, and now it's kind of coming up as if that circle that I put on there is the moon. That was my whole thing right there. Copper and a circle. Cool. Okay, I'm going to get one of these gonna... alcohol inks now so that I got some space on my desk. Is that dry? I also want to do a little bit of pin work just to make those stand out a little bit. My stencil print, using it like a stamp, is a little bit um, fuzzy. And since I've got these very defined lines, I just want them to st I want them to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to get uh, some sort of pin. Not sure which kind yet. Maybe a Posca pin. Just to just summon them up a little bit, those lines. Because you know me and lines, I'm obsessed with them. I know I have a gray Posca pen, so where the heck is it? So here's some more of that um, alcohol ink. Just so that you can see what those end up looking like. And let's see. I need to get on with my making up my E2C. Yeah. So I'll just do the pin right yeah, These are all these are all alcohol. I love these. Look at look at that one. Look at that circle one. Oh, oh that one's gorgeous. Isn't that fun? That oh my gosh. They're so colorful. What did I do? Okay. Step number two is rub. I thought maybe some rub-ons would be good. Don't have very many, but um, rub-ons would be great. I thought I had some watercolor paper cut down. Where is it? Maybe I want There it is. There it is. So, circles and watercolor, no problem. And rub. 
Don't forget rug. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to set these aside and I get my get this out. I should probably leave something dark behind it so you guys can see it better. This will probably be good. Um so I have I have some watercolors out, out here on my desk. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. Yeah. Me and having stuff on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I have tons of stuff on my desk. Everyone's and I'm pull out some of these stencils. Not sure which one I want to use here. Looking for circles. Well, we have so many. <laughs> It's hard yeah. to choose. <laughs> but you know, like she said, these things on a things on a ring work really well. There was a Seth Aptor one that had a lot of circles. It was really cool. Well, this is a, this is one of those that I did alcohol with previously, as you can tell, just by the looks of it. And it happens to have this circle. Imagine that. So, circles it, circles it is. And a stencil. Circles and stencils, my favorite. So, I'm going to I'm going to put that down. And I think I'm actually going to tape it down. This ATC is going really fast. To move. I kind of want a better lines. Better lines. Hi, Ingrid. Yeah, coins are good. Rec I don't care. You know, as long as you're, as long as you're making something. Yeah, Barbara, who's in the, the um chat today is making tags yeah you know make whatever you want Doesn't yeah we, we're not that fussy in our group we don't have those kind of you know you got to follow the rules kind of stuff because no, we're artists we just want you to create stuff and make the world more beautiful with the beauty that you create that's what right we're all about. so whatever it is you want to make just make it that's all we want so these are some Daniel Smith watercolors. What did I just do? I was looking for my swatch book. Okay, so these are some Daniel Smith watercolors, and I can tell you what is in this tray is Fushite Genuine. Um, Perlene Green, Cascade Green, Undersea Green, this Indigo, which I love. This is a Duochrome Autumn Mystery, which is kind of coppery, and then this Transparent Red Oxide. So I think that this palette that I have on my desk works for the colors that we're looking at this month, which is the blues and coppers and all of that. Cobalt. Cobalt is the other color. So I knew it was blue. Couldn't remember which blue. But. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna use those for my watercolor here. Did you do rub? Well, I'm rubbing, I'm rubbing my watercolor into my watercolor paper here. Oh, tricky. Yeah. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tricky. <laughs> very tricky. Very tricky. Uh, so I'm going to get I could be doing this without 
using a, um, oh dear, I think I got some paint on my pen. Eh. I'm using a gray permanent fine liner pen in a 0.05. And this pack of pens makes me laugh because this is the name of it. Pen. But like oh, the cool. sticky kind instead of the P-E-N, it's P-I-N with a little a little stick pin. <laughs> it makes me laugh. But they're really nice. They come in um, light gray, dark gray, and black in an 01 and an 05. They're fine, fine liners. But I just wanted to define some of that, that little landscape there that I had. And then I just think the only other thing I need is some watercolor. Says working on ATCs and she'll post them later. Cool. Good, good. Uh, okay, I need another brush because I'm switching colors here. I think I want to add some of this um, some of this coppery tone. Need coppery tones in this. Hmm, stone blue, stone blue, sky blue, gray. What color do I want? Violet tulip. Hmm. These are the uh, Arteza watercolors that I got. How are you liking those? They're more like a gouache than a watercolor, but I have promised that I was going to use them on a gel plate. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. Oh, cool. <laughs> have a gel plate. <laughs> okay. I we'll just change what color I want. Um, cobalt blue, ultramarine. I want a blue. Yeah. Maybe cerulean blue and stone blue. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Cerulean blue and stone blue. So here's the stone blue. What color is Asian blue? Asian. Asian would be nice too, but I think I want the cerulean. Besides, I just like to say that. Cerulean. I love cerulean blue. It's a beautiful <laughs> color. There's so many colors in here. There's so many. Beautiful, beautiful color. There's the blues. Okay. And most of the blues are in there. But I also like Prussian blue. That's pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, so that's kind of running around a little bit. It's not, you know, it's going to have to dry down. I'm just trying to clean out my brush here a little bit. All right. Let's get the gel put here. And I'm so I think it. to help it dry down, I'm going to grab my heat tool. Heat tool. Heat gun. <laughs> I always think of Paula Phillips when I say that. Mm -hmm. too. Okay, so got my kind of coppery color, but I think I need to add more copper. So I'm not going to heat it all the way. I just want it to dry it down enough so it's not running. And there's my circles with watercolor. Okay, so I put the, the two colors on my plate. It's kind of beady a little bit. I have this um, this mister. It, like, it doesn't make a spray. It makes like this weird mist, and I'm just going to mist it a little bit just to see if the colors mush together a little bit. And then my theory is that any place that I have acrylic paint on here or this rub on should be a resist, right? So if I put this down, those places should resist the color. I might have to wipe it back. I'm not sure. That's a possibility. But it should make, yep, yeah, it just goes right on there. Interesting. i make sure that it's down in the areas that I need it to be and I might blot a little bit to pick it up from the uh, resisted areas and I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put a little of uh, 
a little, a little of other colors with a brush over it to make it more interesting. But uh, I think that that works perfectly. And I think we're going to do it some more so that we can really see how it works. Now it's really kind of beating up. So this would be the secondary print, which you can just do on the back of this card to see how it comes up. And of course I'm getting my hands all gooky. Yeah, I think it'll make interesting backgrounds. So let's go for a little bit more color. The, the, um, do I have a baby wipe? I feel like my hands are going to get extremely wrecked when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's true. <laughs> Where's my baby wipes? Ah. I think I want to clean the plate in between because I think there's going to be residual on there. And I just need to... Um, I need to kind of just get a whole sheet. I'm letting this guy dry because I want some of that to come back. Hello, beautiful Brenda. We're glad you could join us. Yeah, uh, Rennie says she can't wait to see those uh, on your gel plate. So I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but you know, one of the one of the features I think of that. Um, watercolor, that Daniel Smith watercolor that I love, this uh, duochrome autumn mystery. Oh, is, that is a pretty one. I have that Is one. that it has shimmer to it. It's like there's mica in it. Can you guys see the shimmer? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. And it's kind of a coppery shimmer. So I'm thinking that's pretty cool. And I have this... Um, I have this bird, this hummingbird, and I think I want to add a little bit of that shimmer to the bird. So I'm gonna gonna help it to. Shimmer and blend in a little bit. Because I like that. And I think I just want to pick a little bit of that darker blue up for the edge of the wing, too. These are all watercolor in here. This is just a, a stamped image that I embossed and cut out. And I don't know if I want to use the rest of this. Um, this is the rest of that image, but I'm going to cut it out anyway. Josie's sewing. What are you sewing, Josie? Been watching Gina making her sewing so projects. They look pretty cool. Her slow stitching, she calls it. Yep, slow stitching. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, crocheting going on right now too. I see. One of those mindless things. Yeah, I think if you can find something that's relaxing that you can just do to chill yourself out, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Because I could use some chilling out myself. Yeah, we need to be chill. So I was just trying some different colors. I, th I think that this is going to be very similar to um, acrylic, really. I mean... Not that different. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I just used three different colors of the watercolor tube. Sprayed it on. Used a stencil. 
I'll do. I'll and do you it more. That, you think that's just because it's more gouache like? Yeah. When when I swatched them out, <clears throat> I was excited that I would have sixty colors. That's awesome. I swatched them out. Almost all of them were marked opaque. Uh, so to me, that's a sign that they're more like gouache than they are yeah. like watercolor because watercolor is translucent. Right. So there's a few that are marked semi-translucent and there's one, the ultramarine is marked completely translucent. I put, you know, I put the, the symbols and everything on here and I tried to lift them. I tried to see how opaque they were by making black marks. And some of them are definitely more opaque than others, for sure, even though they're marked the same as far as opacity on them on the, the tube. When you get a tube of something, it often will have a little mark. See that little mark of a filled in square means opaque. So this one is cerulean blue. Here's a black mark. Did it completely cover it? No, it didn't. So it's not completely opaque like an acrylic, but it's not transparent either. So these are definitely a great price and a great option for messing around with watercolor if you're not intending to be a watercolor professional. These are not professional watercolors. And some of the other ones I have, even though they were more expensive, are similar in properties. So, you know, that's why I thought it would be fun to do them on, on a plate because I think that they'll make interesting effects after I play around with it a bit, but I need to finish my ATC, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have the three steps, which were copper, rub, um, duh. Watercolor. <laughs> Watercolor, yeah. And the wild card is canvas. And canvas, and I'm I'm not going to do the, the wild card, that's for sure. Um, just uh, canvas and watercolor to me are just opposites. So, um, I'm gonna shine up this copper. I have bit. my my backer for my ATC. I stamped these up. So I'm gonna. I lost my pen for my uh, art glitter the other day, and I looked everywhere, couldn't find it. So I figured I had these other jars that I had ordered that have these little plastic um, nib things that have an actual string that stays on them. I thought, well, why don't I just put one of those on the end of my glue? <laughs> <So> <laughs> then I won't lose it like I lose the pen. So I thought that was brilliant. I don't know about you guys, but I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> So these are our teas and watercolors too. I just picked 24 of the colors and put them in one of their palettes that they sent me. So I'm going to use them in the normal way that you would with watercolor. I just need to find a brush. I need some water. Lots of water. Because I just want to jazz this up a little bit. How about some of this lime green? Nothing says you can't have other colors. You have to use the color, but you can have other colors. Right. So, so I'm getting that to the color on here to make it more interesting. Get that to set up a little bit there and I think I want to darken the edge a little bit, but I don't want to. I don't want to use black. So I have some uh, potting soil. You know, when you're using watercolor, watercolor is usually softer. And we were talking about that this morning because we were talking about these um, Jerry's Artorama pencils. My friend had told me this morning that Jerry's was running a sale. And I said, oh, well, I love those pencils that they have, these jumbo jet pencils. But um, a lot of people have been using the black one. Um, I first got this with uh, Jody Ole, a class I took with Jody Ole. 
but um, they also come in brown and there's my other one. I lost track of one already. So, I mean, these are a good option if you're going to do something softer like watercolor. Okay, so here's here's the four colors that I have. I don't know if they offer anything else, but I have this uh, kind of more cocoa brown, kind of a reddish tone brown, like a... Um, uh, I can't even think of the right words. And then a white. And so, I mean, these are these are good options to use. But um, I also like to use um, the lighter colors, like in the inks when I'm working with watercolor. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and do my do my edges because I don't want the white edge. I want, ooh, and that watercolor is still wet. Don't live in the desert. The watercolor is still wet. <laughs> <laughs> Everything dries super fast over where I live. Trying to lift some of this blue out. This is kind of a staining color, I can tell. Uh, Gina is Gina B. Aaron's. Whoops. The heck was on that? Shoot. I think you're you're still on uh, the design team for Gina, right? Me, no. 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 Okay. You and I have lots of things going on in our life. Yeah. We need to step back from that, even though, okay. yeah, you know, yeah, but uh, yeah, Gina, Gina B. Aaron's, go check her out. She's been doing the slow stitching, yeah, she's made some awesome stuff. So, I don't stitch. <laughs> Well, I used to. My hands just don't stitch anymore, you know? Yeah. I'm out of frame. Sorry, guys. Drop in a little color. Let's try some of that vermilion. Yeah, so anyway... Yeah, Barb does fantastic quilts. Fantastic quilts. Beautiful quilts. I have uh, quilters in my family that, one aunt in particular, that makes so many fantastic, beautiful quilts. And she makes them for, like, the veterans and, like, all these different things. Cool. But she doesn't hand stitch the quilting. She has it machine done. Yeah. After she's pieced. So. Well, I think we are the proud owners of something like that. You know, my husband was in the VA hospital. Just oh, recently yeah. having his gallbladder taken out. <laughs> and somebody brought us a quilt. Uh, when he came home, he came home with a quilt. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. So I want to see how I want to position the. I think I'm about done with my um, little ATC for today. I think. I think it's timely. Love it. couple stencils, some watercolor, some acrylic paint, and a rub-on for rub. <laughs> and a rub-on. Where do these go? Well, that doesn't go that way. This one first, then this one. So, I'll give it a little dry just to make sure that it's not going to dry down to nothing. Because, you know, 
Watercolors sometimes need multiple layers. Normally you don't dry them, but you know I'm an impatient kind of girl. Actually, I think I might want to add a little bit of white. This is definitely your good old mixed media because I'm mixing all the medias, man. I'm mixing them. You can't stop me. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. So I've got some stickers. So I think I'll use stickers on here. These are those word stickers. Um, from which group is this? This is the Tim Holtz ideology word stickers. And I hope I oh yeah, choose I want happiness. Hummingbirds make me happy. They do. They Every time I happy. see one, it just makes me exceedingly happy. They like my coral bells. They, they come out here to my flower garden and sip the nectar from the coral bells. We, ha we have these plants in front of the house, and I don't know what they're called. I got no idea, but they're like kind of like a spiky grass. And uh -huh. then they have these, these stalks come out of them, and they have kind of like these little red, round flowers on them and the hummingbirds like those and I see I'll go out like to go you know to the front of the house to get in the car or whatever and I'll see hummingbirds and also we have these ones that are called Mexican bird of paradise in the back and they have red and yellow orange type flowers and we'll get hummers on those too cool I like them I need some little dots up here. I should have wet this before I added the color. I'll do it now. Yeah, that's what it needed. Just a little white pasta pen because, hey, do I ever do something that doesn't have a pasta pen on it? <laughs> Never! That makes such a difference just to have those little white kapow, kapow here and there. I wasn't very smart. I put that put that on there, and this is not the right kind of paper to be doing watercolor on. So that was not a good choice. And the watercolor color just fell off? No, it just it darkened it. Uh. To, to the, you know, it just soaked right in because it's the wrong kind of paper. You know, they're stickers. <laughs> Today, today's the fourth day? Four? Yes, this is day number four. Okay. I had to put my number on it. Day so what four. I'll do is I will probably come back with some light. Light in it. I can't believe I dipped around that long. Still very wet. Very wet. So, what else do I have on here that I could play with? What other challenges do we have? Um, on my paper, I've got, also got the mood board. If you would want to do the mood board. Or I have Tag It Tuesday, which is Sherry's group. So we could do an ATC for either one of those. Yes. Which one do you want to do? I don't care. What are you thinking? Well, Tag It Tuesday is similar to Pick a Stick Challenge. Okay. So what, what are Sherry's prompts? Sherry's prompts are add a measuring tape, use a random scrap from your desk, add stars, and draw something. Does that sound fun? Very good. I got just the thing here. <laughs> I'm not sure that I do. But we weren't really okay. prepared for that this morning. Okay. But I might so. have something that looks like a measuring tape here in my washi tape. 
Maybe. I thought, but maybe I'm wrong. Wrong, wrong. Oh, there's some copper washi tape I could have used. Huh? Too late now. Why are there scissors in here? I didn't put scissors in here. <laughs> Bunch of crazies. I was sure I had something that looked like a... Uh, Maybe it's in the other basket. There's too much junk on the ground. I can't get to anything. Six, four. Ah, there it is. It is an actual major. Four. Okay. I found it. You can't escape me, Mr. Measuring Tape. Check that out. It's an actual measuring tape. Very cool. It's a paper one, but. Hey, it works. That's a good place to start. Um, what what background do I want? Shall I just use this this one that I did with the? I could just use that as my start out point. Yeah, it's got that watercolor on it. I think I'll put a little bit of matte medium on it just to make it more safe. So we don't get blue all over everything. It could happen. I gotta quit fiddling with this. <laughs> well, it needs to it needs to dry before I put a pen to it. So it's like, mm, you know, it needs to dry. So that's that's that one. Now I need to do measure square. Oh, I moved okay. it. Add a measuring tape is the first one. Right. Tag it so. Tuesday is a different group. The the person that one of the people we had multiple people that we did pick a stick challenge with when we first started it. There was four of us, and it was a different group than our um, RJ sharing. Although a lot of the people in our Joe sharing used to be in pick a stick challenge. Um, Sherry was one of the people that was helping us with that group that dropped out but she has her own group called tag it tuesday and it's a prompt challenge as well so you can go over and ask to join if you want to if you like to make altered tags which i do so i usually do it every month because i like to make altered tags it's just a thing okay so I have a blue background and I have a measuring tape. I guess I'm going to collage the measuring tape onto the card. That is probably what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to use Yoohoo Glue Stick to do it. Alright, I lost track of my stencils from uh, What If NC. How oh, did you have? Does Does Carla have a measuring tape? Oh yeah. Oh. Well, you probably put all the what if NC stencils together somewhere. Yeah. And I <laughs> probably did <hid> them. <laughs> <laughs> I. You remember yesterday when I said I was cleaning up all day yesterday? Yeah, you cleaned up too well. You should stop doing that. Cleaning is for sillies. I did take all of her stencils and put them in one spot, which I'm just not sure where it is right now. Okay. And I amazing. created another mess here already today. Can you believe that? Yes. Yes, I can believe it. So... Measuring tape. I don't have measuring tapes. Um, I had that stencil. That's what I had. I wonder if... Uh, Do you have any like sewing type scrapbooking paper that's left over from... No, I got rid of all that junk. Okay. Yeah. When I make my own... <laughs> you could. You could just draw oh, it. Guess what? Guess what? 
Tim Holtz has one. Oh, oh, you're right. I have that stencil too, I think. Maybe. It's in Holtz one that has that type of stuff on it. Uh -huh. You know, I have some of these other tapes that might match this a little bit. So I need a tag, right? Um, I'm doing it on an ATC. Are you? Yeah. I think I'm going to do a tag because hers is a tag at Tuesday. She also has an ATC. Oh, she has an ATC? Yeah. She oh, well, says okay. on the, on the I guess we'll do it on an ATC then. Yeah. She encourages people to do an ATC with the same prompts. Okay. I never do it. I just do a tag, but sometimes other people do ATCs. Oh, look, there's some more circles. <laughs> oh, circles, circles everywhere. Well, I'm thinking about the star. Let's see, scrap star. Oh, there's an ATC that's done that I never glued onto anything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these were things in progress, right? Yeah, we always have things in progress. Okay, there's a, there's a, okay, this is a greeting card that I cut down to ATC size, so I could use that. I think I will. Okay. I'll use that. I like the color. Does she have a color? No color. Uh -uh. No color. Okay. Cool. Then I guess I can use that. You can, you and, can do whatever color you want. I think. I think I should do this on a scrap. That's what I'm thinking. So, I think I like that scrap. Well, there you go. I have to find a scrap yet. I'm still just putting some washi tape on here because it's fun. <laughs> These three washi tapes came in a set from uh, Canvas Corp Brands. Camscore Brands doesn't exist anymore, though. Oh, you know what? Yeah. It's called something else now. I just changed my mind about this whole thing. Oh, did you? Yeah. Because you've mentioned washi tape. Yes. Okay. Washi tape. Guess what? Guess what I have in washi tape? Measuring tape. I have this gaffer's tape. And I have this one. Huh. Well, there you go. I was more prepared than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so. Really, you were. Guess what that leaves this scrap for? That would be stars. Stars. Um, I need a scrap. I need some type of scrap. What kind of scrap do I have that would fit this? I don't know. I need some other color in here that's not blue. I got scraps coming out of my ears, I tell you. <gasps> Whoa, just spilled my water all over the desk. You're supposed to drink it, not spill it. Sorry, Mika. Didn't mean to drop water on your head. You're just in the splash zone down there. You poor doggy. So I have a star punch. So let's just do that. Sounds like a plan. Because I think that'll be pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'll just 
just need to glue that down. I need some color. Color. What can I do to make some more color? I need a scrap. Well, that's an interesting scrap. Okay, so I need a tissue to clean with here. Where's my tissue paper? I'm losing track of things today. Can we put more than one scrap? <laughs> yeah. Well, I got all kinds of fun little stuff I could glue on here. But here's some stars. Is there enough of them in there? Helen Golden is giving away all of her patterns. I'm talking about quilting still. They've been talking yeah. about quilting for a while. Those are snowflakes, not stars, although they do look kind of like stars. I guess two stars is going to have to do it because that's all that's in there. Um, I need a, I need a boo -boo there. So I think it's going to go around that way. And I think, I think I like the green contrast on here. No, I don't like that. Yeah. I don't know if I have any other stars. So I need to glue the washi tape because it never sticks. Gotta glue the washi tape down. This is very glittery on the back. Trim that out. And oh dear. Do I have a stencil that has stars on it? I don't know. Oh, uh, you might. Do you have that one from Gina that has stars on it? Hmm. Gina. I have Gina stencils in a box here. I don't know. I don't have stars or not. I have a stamp from Gina that has stars. I don't think I have a stencil. Although I could be wrong. So oh, the next thing know. in this is draw. Draw something, yeah. No, I don't have a stencil, but I do have a stamp, so I could use the stars from the stamp if I wanted you. I have got water everywhere all over my stupid desk. Which is not my watercolor water. It is actually my lemon water. <laughs> oh my. I spilled my drink. Oh, which reminds me. I need a drink of my coffee. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>
I used to do quilting with paper. Have you guys ever done that? I have. That's fun. Yep. This is such an interesting scrap. Ah, dang it. But it's making me have glue everywhere. Shoot. Just go back together where you belong. Naughty scrap. Naughty, naughty. I could draw a straight line. A straight line? Yeah, I know, right? What's that? <laughs> 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 so I'm just going to draw a few extra stars. That's a good idea. I could do that too. Hmm. Oh, I got lemon water on my other card. Get some little stars. You know, I should add some glitter to my stars, right? Well, stars do glitter, so therefore I think it's a good idea. I wish I had one more star. That's the problem here. I only have two of these little sequin stars, and I wish that I had three because three is better than two. Don't you know? So I have a metallic jelly roll. Let's see if I can get this to work. So I did the measuring tape. Oh, yeah. So we can glitter up our stars with some metallic jelly roll. Mm. My word is acting like a jerk. Okay, I added measuring tape, I added random scraps, I added stars. Now I just need to draw something. I don't know what. I don't know what to draw. It is a good idea to add some sparkle to those though. We had something sparkly over here. I would put it on there. Maybe, maybe this extra sparkly stars. this stencil I think yeah I think I will use that stencil and get a get those off my desk and get a sponge Block. Okay, I need to block that. Where's my gesso? Oh, there it is. Do I have some? What do they call these things? Sticky, sticky notes? 
have some sticky notes. I'm going to block that edge off with because I would just want to use the edge of this measuring thing for a border on here. See if I can get it to line up correctly with these old eyes and at a distance. I don't know how you guys do quilting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. I got that to work. I'm not on screen. Imagine that. Get a little border. Another way to use your stencil is for a border here. Why won't that stay where I want it to go? There we go. edge for that. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. So did I meet the challenge? We've got measuring tape and I used it in two different places because I used the washi tape and I used the stencil. Uh, scrap was uh, the scrap of paper that I uh, punched the stars out of and draw, I drew the stars. So there's the challenge for Tag It Tuesday. Tag It Tuesday. So I need a backer on that and mark it as Tag It Tuesday. And also that can be day number five. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, good idea. Just piecing. Absolutely, Sybil. So, this will be my day number five. And your day ahead. Yay. My day dreamer. Yeah, I actually moved ahead today. That's something because <laughs> I've been so far behind this month. I just can't get motivated. I don't know. It's hard. I, I'm not motivated either. I can't so, do it. I got to get motivated and go out and mow the grass this afternoon. Yuck. Yeah, I know. That's one thing good about being in the desert, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we have to pull weeds. We don't have to mow the grass. So this is hashtag ATC at day 2020. And this is Tag It Tuesday. Tag It Tuesday. All right. I think I'm just going to. And a little bit more random marks here. It just needs more. And maybe something around the edge. This 
this will be for the fifth. Number five. What are we doing here? Oh, you know, that lightened up pretty good. Why do I keep going off the edge of the screen? I think it'll be all right. You know, sometimes when those things dry down. And maybe just a little bit of activation on some of these weird marks. This one looks pretty patriotic. Yeah. <laughs> it's red, white, and blue. I like it, though. Mm -hmm. Stars, you know, stars always evoke that feeling, don't they? That's true. A little bit of splatters. I guess that could be done. We're almost out of time, aren't we? Oh, we got a few minutes. You got a few minutes. I think I'll glue this one down. Because I never finished it. So I need to glue that down and make that like day six. <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. I need a backer. Finish this one up. So we still have the mood board challenge we can do sometime this month if you want to. Yeah, we can probably do that one. Yeah. Probably It'll should. Today, but probably should. Yeah. It's got a little a lot of bright colors. This this doesn't do it justice because I printed on draft, but um, it's got super bright. Super happy poppy colors, which I think is what June is all about. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Put this one back. Well, you know, I think the world needs to pull together, not not just the USA. I think the whole world needs to come together, share some love, and be kind to one another, <laughs> keep your social distancing, <laughs> all that good stuff. So, Yeah, I've seen some pretty funny things on Facebook, like, you know, um, some, uh, is it? Is it riot season already? I still have my COVID-19 decorations up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that one was really fun. You know, I mean, we can make fun of ourselves, right? Well, you know, it's it's just nuts. I, you know, Cedar Rapids is not that big. And uh, this morning I'm looking at the news where the police station has put up uh, like riot barriers around the police station here. So, oh, yeah. my <laughs> yeah, I, I, my town is large there's probably if you if you count the entire town there's probably 800,000 people and there has been some protesting and some uh, destruction downtown in the mid you know the midtown part but I'm like yeah. I'm like 40 minutes away from that right so my kid went out to get some um, some milk and juice and soda yesterday and he got to the store at like 7.50 and they were closing at 8 o'clock because well, there's a curfew, right? Yeah. We have a curfew. Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. he was yeah. there to get yeah. some stuff. But he didn't get everything. So he went over to the Walmart and they had closed at 5 o'clock. And they oh had people gosh. out front. Their employees were out front guarding the store. I mean, I, I live in a town, a suburb town that has the crime rate is so low but they're going to guard the walmart <laughs> well honestly you know my my kid lives in des moines 
he works in downtown Des Moines. There was looting and rioting uh, in Des Moines, and um, he had he works late because he works like twelve hour shifts, and so he doesn't get out of work before the curfew. He has to drive home during curfew hours. Right. And um, he gets home, and across the street from him is a mall, and um, the Target is being looted there. Oh my gosh. So it's like the, the world has gone crazy. Um, and, you know, any excuse for looters to, to loot, right? Yeah, they're just taking advantage of this. Right. They're, right. They're not so shame, shame on you people that are taking advantage of the situation because this is a very serious situation that needs our attention. And looters should not be the one that are getting the attention. Yeah. That is anyway, true. get off my soapbox here and yeah, yeah. We smart. try not to be political, but how can you, how can you, you know, ignore everything that's going on? Yeah. Days four, days five, done. Woohoo! Yay. Okay, guys. I hope you're playing along. I hope you're posting your pictures on social media, and we will see you again next time with our mood board. Yep, move board next week. All right. And more ATCs. <laughs> and more ATCs, absolutely. <laughs> All month long. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye-bye. See you then. Oh, come on. <laughs>